Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for a lovely Pisces this weekend. Or at the beginning of the week today. It's Sunday, obviously. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Pisces. What is in store for our lovely Pisces for the next 24? Thank you for all my subscribers. You guys are so wonderful lately, Pisces. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Pisces. See, ooh, child. So we got the moon here. It's about secrets. I have options with the Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. So something is hidden and secretive and something you're suspicious about. If it's involving love or relationships or career, something is having you overthinking, which you should. Pisces for the next 24. Spirit, what's the messages for our lovely Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Pisces. Mercury retrograde is in Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Okay. So, someone is feeling a little defensive, and you do have the King of Swords, Aquarius, but Gemini energy here, and someone is letting down their guard, all right? So, you have Pisces, Cancer, and Aquarius, but Gemini energy so far. Let's see, Pisces. Okay, here you are, Pisces. You're upset with someone with the Seven of uh, Pentacles. This is about building something, creating a stable lifestyle. Is about reaping what you sow. So you are in reverse here, coming in as the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone is mad at you or you're upset with someone, but we will find out when we clarify. So now you do have a couple here. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right. Let's see. Involving family dynamics. Dynamics. Let's see, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, we have the Hermit. All right, someone's coming out of that energy of feeling like they need to search for something. And uh, this is perhaps why the moon is here as well. Someone was searching and not feeling comfortable. All right, with the hermit in reverse, also Virgo energy. Let's see. Pisces, someone, someone rising to Venus. Uh, the star, okay. So I, I was feeling a little energy of someone being jealous of Pisces. A lot of people are out there being jealous and envious of us. You have this this star here, which is Aquarius, about second chances, apologies, um, healing as well. You also have the strength card here, Leo energy, okay? Let's see, Pisces, seven rising and Venus for Pisces spirit. What is the messages for the next 24? So you have the devil and the page of swords here. So someone is stalking you. All right, the Page of Swords is about stalking. Someone broke your heart. Three of Swords, or you broke someone else's heart. All right, let's see. Any final messages for Pisces for the next 24, Spirit? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's the messages for a Pisces, Spirit? Any messages for our lovely Pisces? Pisces. Pisces, Spirit. Any final messages, final final warnings for the lovely Pisces out there? Any messages you would like us to know, Spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Spirit. What's the final messages or any warnings for Pisces? Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Pisces, Spirit. Final messages for Pisces. 444. I just saw 444. Four, four. Any messages for Pisces? No messages. All right. So we will clarify now if any other cards come out. Final messages for a lovely Pisces spirit. Any final messages? Any final messages here? Okay. Finally. Ciao. Okay, so we do have the uh, Chariot in Reverse Cancer and the Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So someone is sorry. With the Six of Cups, this is someone you know from the past, someone you know for a while. And they are missing you tremendously here with the Chariot. The Chariot is also Cancer, so you have Cancer energy twice here, as well as the Six of Cups. Someone is mourning a loss of you, and someone might be a little stalkerish, all right? 
So just watch your little stalker energy. Pisces, you have a stalker. All right, so let's see. What do we have for Pisces spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Actually, let me get my little um, jing, my jing, my jing, my jing. Okay. I like to wear this. This is like so cute to put on for my readings. Okay, spirit. Let's clarify the moon. Why is the moon here for Pisces? Okay. Ooh, child. Okay, so the Ace of Cups. Someone is in love with you, but something is secretive. Someone is keeping secrets from you, and you know, because you're intuitive, so you already know. This is a Cancer or Pisces. They're not being upfront about things, or you just have this uh, visual or this feeling. You know how Pisces, we get this feeling of something that's not right. So that's what's going on in the love department. So someone do love you. They want to offer you a cup of love, but something is secretive, okay? Yeah, something is secretive, Pisces. Why is the Seven of Cups here having options? Or just not knowing what to do or what steps to take with the Seven of Cups here, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy as well. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Pisces? Ooh, did you guys see that? <laughs> it's amazing. So you have the Ten of Wands, all right? So Seven of Cups with the, with the, paired with the Ten of Wands is someone who wanted to come forward and be honest and contact you, but now they're not because they have options, okay? Someone might be thinking about just dating other people instead of reopening communication with you, and that's okay, Pisces. Just keep it moving. So the Nine of Wands here is us being defensive, okay? Letting down our defense. We're actually trying to be a little less defensive here, okay? So we're starting to come to terms of hidden secrets. It's going to be revealed with the moon here. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. So spirit will let you see what's in the dark will come to light with the moon here, okay? So the hidden secrets will be revealed. Paired with the eight of wands, someone will come forward and tell you what it is that was secretive or you might just find out messages will come in someone might slip and call you the wrong name text you the wrong message you know all types of shit so just pay attention to the signs nine of wands why is this nine of wands here all right so you have the hangman this is you this is your energy pisces the hangman is Pisces, is about spiritual beginnings, okay? So you're just trying to let down your guard so you can have a spiritual healing, all right? So you're, you're thinking about just healing yourself because you don't want to accept this cup of love if it was deceit involved, right, Pisces? And rightfully so, you know, because you don't want to share your money or your love with someone else. Why should you? I mean, it's good to share your money, but don't allow people to walk all over you and abuse their position when you give them an inch, you don't take a yard. When you give them your hand, they don't take your fucking arm. You see what I'm saying, Pisces? And that's what I see here. What's going on? Okay. Get some chapstick. Get some water here. So let's see who this King of Swords is because this is an energy of a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini who might be trying to reconnect with you. Someone from the past. Okay. Why is this King of Swords here for Pisces? Who is this King of Swords? Okay, chill. Okay, the world. The world is basically an ending and traveling, okay? So you have the world. You have different energies in the world card. So this could be basically anyone, but you have a Libra Aquarius Gemini who wants to come in and perhaps offer you a trip away out of town or someone wants to take you out to dinner perhaps. That's what I'm seeing here. Someone wants to actually come forward and be honest about how they feel about you as well. So if someone had a, a secret crush on you, they probably tell you. Or you might be dealing with someone from a different country, a different city. Okay? Why is the Page of Swords here? Ooh. The Star and the Two of Cups. So you have the Star twice. If you're dealing with the Aquarius, this Aquarius is definitely stalking you. All right, so you have the star and the two of cups. This is basically a soulmate energy, soulmate period. So someone is is like up, obsessed with you basically and in love. And they want to apologize. They, they basically are demanding an apology with the star here twice. Someone wants to apologize and they're stalking your page. 
Yep. Seven of Pentacles reversed for Pisces. Why is this here? The Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Wow. So you this is a couple here. So you have the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, I mean Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here in reverse. So this could speak of you was perhaps thinking about a career that's not going to work out or you was thinking about starting a business venture with a family or a friend, a close friend, and now you're, ba you're basically thinking not to do that. But you do have the water signs both in reverse. So I can see here that someone turned their back on something. It might be involving some love connection because we just had enough. You know, Pisces, we've been going through a lot as well. And we do have the retrograde um, going on here now. And we might just feel the energy of the retrograde and feeling a little stern, a little more uh, firm with our decisions because we don't feel like crying and beating our head up all night about this love relationship or even business or career. All right, we want to finally make a decision with this Seven of Cups, all right? So let's see. Why is this King of Cups reversed? All right, yeah, that's why I was saying Nine of Swords. Like, literally up all night thinking and worrying ourselves sick, okay, Pisces? That's what that is. The Queen of Swords. So we're a little firm, all right? Why is the uh, Hermit here for Pisces Spirit? Knight of Wands in reverse. So, yeah, we're just done. We're dumping the trash bag. Take the trash out. We're not dealing with the um in and out type of guy or female who just want to come in to sleep with us because we know that we're good in bed. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Pisces. That's I'm a sun sign, Pisces. So, yeah, we're good in bed. And, like, we're just like, all right, kick, kick, rock, rock, kick. Get the fuck out of here. We're done. It's redundant right at this point. Like, we're done. All right, Pisces, like I said, you might have somebody who's stalking you. It might be another jealous person, another jealous man. If you're a male, if you're a female, you might have another je jealous female out there. Someone who's trying to pretend or they wish they was you type shit. Like, that's what I'm feeling. So you got this star here, Aquarius. So let's see. Why is this star here? Justice. Yeah. You want justice for whatever um, went wrong in your relationship or career or financially. All right. Basically, you're going to get justice, too, because it's in the right upright position. So uh, whatever has been um, unjust to you is going to go in your favor. All right. So if you have to fight a relationship and prove yourself constantly to this, this person, it's going to go in your favor. And they're going to come to apologize. And rightfully so. Okay, so let's clarify this chariot. The chariot is a cancer. It's in reverse. So you might have a cancer out there who's mad at you. You might be stalking you as well. Why is the chariot here for Pisces? The page of pentacles. So the page reversed. If someone wants to offer you a small offer and it's like you don't want that, someone might be asking you just to meet for coffee. You see what I'm saying? You're like, All right, I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to just meet for coffee. So that energy is reversed anyway. So they're not going to ask you because it's reversed. But you don't care because it's like, I'm looking for a serious relationship. If you're not going to be serious, kick rocks. And someone is in nostalgia. Eight of cups because someone walked away. So someone is missing you, Pisces. Pisces, kiss and Scorpio energy. Why is the six of cups here? Wow. Did you guys see this fall on my head? It fell right on my head like boom. So you have the five of wands, six of the six of pentacles and the king of wands. So you have an Aries Leo Sag out there, all right? So you might have a confrontation with the Aries Leo Sag, and this might be that jealous energy, someone who's jealous of you out there, all right? Just jealous of your success, just jealous, period. All right, so let's get a final message for you, Pisces. Yeah, you cut somebody to fuck off, and that's why they're mad. What's the final messages for Pisces, Spirit, Summer, Rise, and Venus? All right, the sun in reverse. So you do have this Leo card, and it is, it, it is in the reverse. Yes, I know the sun is the sun card, but you're just going to be going through some obstacles right now. All right, Pisces, let's find out. Why is this sun here? Why is this sun for Pisces here? <laughs> Pisces, Pisces. All right. So, yeah, you're walking away from heavy burdens, all right? 
and you have wish fulfillment with the uh, magician. Someone is trying to manifest or pray right here. Yeah, you're walking away from heavy burdens. But someone is still trying to manifest you or do voodoo on you. But they're not going to be successful. Alright, Pisces. Why is this magician here for Pisces? The, the four of pentacles, yeah. So someone was not sharing and now someone is trying to manifest money. Or did you lose money, Pisces? Did you lose money and try to manifest it back into your life? Ten of cups. You gave it to someone you love, maybe? You let someone borrow money? I'm curious. Why the nine of cups here? Why is the nine of cups here for Pisces? Six of swords. And the nine of cups again. Look at this. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, wish fulfillment. So you will have wish, fulfill, fill, wish fulfillment once you walk away with the six of us. So it's here reversed. So you will receive your wish fulfillment in due time in 10 weeks, 10 days. All right. Let's get a final message here. What's the final message again for Pisces? Page of Wands and a Tower. So you do have an ending here and you have a new chapter. All right. Turning a new leaf. All right, during your birthday week. Oh, you have love, Pisces. Yes, honey. So you have love with somebody. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I see an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini here. All right, so you have love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini. And this is your reading, Pisces, and namaste.